lady. I'm looking at you, lady. <laughs> she doesn't look like she's gonna do it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, for those of you at home watching, shame on you. You should have been here. This is the uh, good stock. It happens every year. It happens every year. Second Saturday in September. You don't want to miss it next year. Perhaps you're watching this on the internet. Perhaps you're watching it on Channel 17. The problem is, is, is you're watching it, and you should have been here. Second Saturday in September, Good Stock, Good Beans Cafe. You don't want to miss it. Everybody, follow me to the food truck. All right, I need everybody to look at their watches. What time is it? Time for the smoking babies. <laughs> that was a mixed bag, wasn't it? All right, I, I got to tell them what to say first. It's time for good stuff. You guys, you got that? All right. So I need everybody to look at their watches. What time is it? <laughs> you guys are pathetic. That was horrible. Horrible. I'm not even going to try it again. Listen, my name is Paul Herring. I'm with Spectacle Productions. You guys are here at the Good Bean Cafe, and you are at Good Stop 2021. Oh, man, oh, man. Listen, we got to give a round of applause to Ken Van Wagner, the owner of the Good Bean Cafe. Steering committee. Can you show them some love? Yeah. Okay. Now they asked me to ask you to ask me to ask you to make sure that you sign up at the table over here at the Carriage Town Neighborhood Association. We just want to know where you're from, why you came, all that kind of demographic information. So when we do this next year, we can do it better. Can you guys do that for us? Yeah. Woo. Nice. Now, I was going to tell a joke. Did he go be the same with you? Didn't, you didn't go, man. You're back already? I was going to tell a joke, but I'm not going to tell it now because these guys are ready to go. That, that, I, it'll come after. I'm not going to waste the joke. Come on now. So, these are the smoking dandies. How many of you guys are aware of these guys? Yeah! Woo! Is that your brother? Is that your brother? Yeah, yeah, give him another five bucks. He did a good job. He did a real good job there. Listen, and they have even phonically spelled their name, so I'm going to get it right. Right? So we got Chris Tab Zinski. Yes! <laughs> give him a round of applause for Chris. This is this over here. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm pointing out the wrong guy. All right. Well, which one's Eric? Let me get it right this time. You're Eric. Yeah. Okay. Eric McIntyre. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you got to be Shannon. I didn't think she came. No. No, I just stole her license. You just stole her license. All right. And this guy is Shannon Wade. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado. Smoking dandies. Oh. All right, I need everybody to look at their watches. What time is it?
they stole their license. All right, and this guy is Shannon Wade. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, the Smoking Pigs. So inside in that back room, I basically lived there when they were open. So I'm looking forward to that happening again someday. But, um, but I'm glad we're here in this tent. It's awesome. Um, so that was a tune called Old Fashioned Love. And if you didn't gather, we play kind of a bunch of old fashioned kind of tunes, I guess. Um, but it's never the same thing twice, you know. What you just witnessed was a once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> because, and that's partially just because we don't like to plan things too much. So in the spirit of that, we're going to choose the next tune that we're going to play.
break things down a little bit, me and Shannon. I mean, not not like that. We're gonna keep, on, but we're gonna play a, a tune, an old French waltz tune. Okay, if you've seen the movie Midnight in Paris, you might recognize this. But then again, we take some liberties with it, so you might not. Good.
Thank you, Dad. Honestly, dude, I did the most shocking thing today. It was just something I never thought I'd do. Did your parents find out? My mom cried. What'd you do? Who did that originally, you know? It's an old Jelly Roll Morton team. The self-proclaimed inventor of jazz, Jelly Roll Morton.
about this, Jeremy? You want to hear your favorite song? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll give it a try. So this is a song from the Prohibition days. called You Can't Get That Stuff No More. We just played this last night at Tenacity Brewing, by the way. I play there every Friday night, 8, 8 to 11, with some different version of the band. It's just Eric and friends, and it changes every week, as long as they still have friends. I'm trying, I'm trying. Sally used to live cross town. The law showed up and they they ran her down. Now you can't get that stuff no more. Can't get that stuff no more. No matter how you try, you can't buy. No, you can't get that stuff no more. You know the place just over the hill. They took the gal and the liquor still Now you can't get that stuff no more Can't get that stuff no more No matter how you try You can't buy No, you can't get that stuff no more Go ahead, Chris He used to sell his grease But he got in trouble With the chief of police And now you can't get that stuff No more You can't get Chris Tavis to grease no more No matter how you try You can't buy No, you can't get that grease No more There goes Joe With a great big knife Somebody's been messing around with his wife now. You can't get that stuff no more. Can't get that stuff no more. No matter how you try, you can't buy. See, because of those, those people driving by, it's their fault.
on Saginaw Street, they used to give it away. But now you can't get it if you offer to pay. No, you can't get that stuff no more. Can't get that stuff no more. No matter how you try, you can't buy it. No, you can't get that stuff no more. Oh, there's one more verse. But hang on that, hang on that E flat for a second. While I think of the words. Yeah, just ride that for a second, yeah. Oh yeah. All the gals used to walk the street. The law done run them off his beat. Now you can't get that stuff no more. Can't get that stuff no more. No matter how you try, you can't buy it. No, you can't get that stuff no more. request every time tickle toe that's like gonna be that's like that's like the new freebird but only if patty is at the show tickle toe um I, I don't know if we can do that for you but we could do something with a similar kind of vibe um like uh okay here's an old uh, jingo reinhardt classic called deuce Ambiance, which means sweet atmosphere, which I think we're experiencing right now. If I don't say so, wait, if I do say so myself. For you, even though it's not tickle toe. Mm -hmm.
Saturday. Dave, you promised you'd take me on a proper date. David, it's Mom. Dave, you owe me money. Hey, Mr. Sims, I just wanted to remind you, you owe me 13... Mr. Sims, you can't keep on putting this off, man. I need that money. Hello, I'm Alfred L. Harris Sr. of the Saints of God Church in Flint, Michigan and President of the Concerning Pastors for Social Action here in Flint and I want you to know I vote. You're really not that talented. You're not attractive. Too fat. You're too short. Too old. Why don't you just give up? Give up. Give up. Just give up. All right, we got time for one little quick one. Um, what will it be? Thank you all so much for being here. This is so fun. Uh, this is we're actually heading right to Detroit right after this to play at Tenacity Craft in Detroit. So we're gonna have to skedaddle pretty quickly. But um, it's been super fun playing for you in this little tent. Okay, here we go with uh, Bourbon Street Parade. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
right, thank you so much. Good stuff. Thank you, Pat, and uh, stick around for a serious moonlight. I guess I need this. Oh, well, 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 well. No, you're doing a good job, man. Go ahead. They already paid me. You can go to it as you. Yeah, thank you. Come check us out at Tenacity on a Friday or look us up on Facebook and you'll see where we're playing.